Uh, so in this video we're going to be sketching and translating a ray on a complex plane. Now in the same way that you can create functions and relations on something with an x and a y axis, you can also create functions and relations on uh, an argan diagram. So like on real z and imaginary z. So let's look at how you can create one of these uh, relations. We're gonna, this one's going to be a ray. Uh, this notation is going to be totally new to you. So here's our new notation. Curly, big curly brackets here. Z argument Z equals theta. And theta is the angle between the x-axis uh, in the positive direction. So let's just jump into sketching something like this. Uh, let's sketch one. All right, so if I want to sketch the ray z argument z equals negative 2 pi on 3 Really all I need to do is Start here Now the angle is negative 2 pi on 3. So I'm going to start here I'm going to go along my x-axis and move in the negative direction To negative 2 pi on 3 and draw in my angle here all right, uh, that's that's what a ray looks like. Uh, Z argz negative two pi on three. That job is done here. I can label this as uh, two pi on three if I want negative two pi on three. All right, so label it, draw it in, job done. I'm going to jump straight into translation of these things. Uh, so second example here, or actually let's define it first. All right, so in the same way that when you've got an equation like uh, y equals a sine bx plus c plus d, you know that's a periodic function, and you know that a, b, c, and d can translate our periodic function. Change uh, the amplitude, change the period, shift it up and down, shift it left and right. So in the same way, we can translate this ray by rewriting it as z arg z plus a real A plus uh, imaginary component BI equals theta as long as A and B are real numbers. So when I do that, let's, uh, let's just see, well actually let's talk about what happens. The A translates left and right. The A translates left and right because that's our real value and it's going to move our ray left and right in the real plane. Now the imaginary component is going to move things up and down. It's going to translate things up and down. All right, let's uh, do an example and we're out of here. So my example, I'm going to sketch z argument z plus 4 minus 2i equals pi on 3. Now the process here is very, very straightforward. First of all, look at arg z, this bit here and this bit and just lightly draw it as you normally would. So arg z pi on 3. arg z pi on 3 is going to start here and go up to here. Boop, 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 boop. That's what a ray arg z pi on 3 would look like. That angle's pi on 3. Now all we need to do is take our uh, sketch and move it 4 to the right. Sorry, 4 to the left. 4 to the left, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 upwards, 1, 2. All right, there's our new starting point. And then we draw our ray in just like it was before. So we can imagine there's an imaginary line in here that angle is going to be pi on 3. We can draw in a little dotted line there if we want. All right, so something you're going to notice here is that it moves the opposite of what you'd expect. It moves opposite. So if it's positive 4, it's going to move negative 4 in the real. If it's negative 2i, it's going to move positive 2 in the imaginary. All right, 
uh, that's sketching and translating rays in a complex plane.